All right, what's going on, too? Jack is back with another video, and right now I'm in Ableton Live 9. Just got it, man, and you know, I've been for about two weeks, I've been like really trying to learn this interface because uh, I'm coming from machine, you know, still using machine and logic and um, really dope programs, of course, but uh, something about Ableton Live that just, you know, kind of kept me like interested over like a couple of years, man. I mean, I used uh, Ableton Live back in, uh, I forgot what year, I think it was Ableton Live 6, and it was pretty dope, but I didn't really understand the whole concept of how to arrange and everything with it. Um, but I've been using uh, Logic exclusively for a couple of years, and now um, this past year I just got into machine, got a machine micro, and really, um, really happy with that setup. But I was trying to find something that would that I can take with me um, without having to take too much stuff. I just got a, a little MacBook Air, and um, I use my my little MacBook Air right here. You know what I'm saying? And this is my mobile setup with this and you know my little keyboard. I could go with that anywhere and just whip that out. And I'm you know I'm making music, and I just needed a good something good for my drums, something that you know I can do everything that I need to do for any type of music from trap to to pop to whatever. So I discovered drum racks, which is like. Drum racks is dope. I had I have battery three, and um, I see they got a battery four out, and I'm probably gonna get that. But um, right now, drum racks is the dopest, um, one of the dopest drum programs I've uh, played with. First of all, all of these are pads that you can use, which is um, which is crazy, good amount, you know. Um, but the dope part is you can actually put other instrument racks and other drum racks on each one of these pads so it, it can literally go on you know it can go on forever <laughs> as long as your computer can handle it and um, of course they got macros these are dope you could um, assign these to different parameters in in any one of these pads excuse me and um and you can assign these to your controllers so that's very dope. Um, let's see here. Right now, let me just show you a little bit of uh, how I use it. You know, let me get to the right. Uh, What I like to do, what I like about the drum racks is that you can layer sounds really easy. And I'm just gonna use like some stock samples they got with um, Ableton. Um, I see. Okay, you can take a nice little subby little kick right here. Drop it on the pad. Now this is the dope part. You wanna get a um, like a top end kick like that. You wanna layer it. All you have to do is hold down command and drag that onto the pad. It creates an instrument rack right here. Now you have both of your sounds on this one pad. Rename that. Dope. So you know you can adjust your the 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 sound pan or whatever if you need to. And of course, you can filter out unwanted frequencies, like for 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 this one right here. It's a sub; it doesn't need any high-end frequencies. So I take that down. And that's just for that thump. And of course, this is the top end. Take out the low frequencies by putting the high pass filter on there. And really we just want that pop. Lower it down a little bit. And 
then also um, effects. You can put, let's say, you can put an EQ on the individual sound, or you can put a, a effect or whatever on both of these sounds right here, or you can put it on the whole entire rack right here. So right now I'm gonna put this on the the pad basically. So the this will affect both kicks. Filter out the bottom a little bit. Bring that up a little. Filter out some of the high. Go to compressor. Throw that right in back in there. Another cool thing, parallel compression. All you have to do is just adjust this and now you're, now you're getting 50% process and 50% unprocessed signal. So you keep your dynamics and you can compress the shit out of, uh, you know, compress the shit out of the compressed part, of course, out of half of the signal. But it still keeps its dynamics. Dope compressor. Um, also, there's another view for this compressor. So you can see where the transients are hidden. And you can lower the threshold to make sure that it's hitting correctly, you know? And this is what it, it shows you what it's affecting. I mean, that's super dope, man. Come on. That's... That's crazy. All right, so dope program, drum racks is crazy. How about what instrument? Um, instrument racks. I haven't even explored those too much, but um, let me let me see right here. Let's see if we can whip up some some crazy sound real quick. Do a mini track. Alright, start with an instrument rack. Now I could just drop, I could drop my plugins in here. I'm just gonna do some random type of thing or whatever. Alright. Razor. Love Razor. Bear with me. I'm still learning this program. I've only been learning it for about two weeks. Okay, now this is the instrument rack. Um, this where, oh, well, I guess you can drop the instruments in here. Then you have your macros. It's just like a, a drum rack kind of, except without the pads. But. Ensemble in that bitch. Oops. I don't know what that does yet. Hi. <laughs> throw an effect on there. I love some uh, guitar rig. Make sure I got my left and right channel on both. And uh, let's see. This is some funk or whatever. I went 
wouldn't necessarily put these types of effects in this instrument type together, but um, just mess around. Seeing what I can do. not new stuff you know some of this I mean some of it is but I mean I didn't know I didn't know about instrument racks I didn't know about drum racks if I did I would have switched a long time ago but um even though I'm still using um, the other programs this is just crazy um all right so that's it for this video next video I think I'll go ahead and uh make a beat I'll start from uh I'll start from right here and I'll show y'all how to make the beats and all that stuff with, with Ableton Live.